Hello. Lady Sandry Lim inviting you to go out on a limb. Uh, when you're in Brussels and are into fine dining, one of the restaurants you have to check out is called Kam Sashwa. It's a two Michelin star restaurant establishment that's really popular. So let's go out on a limb with me on this culinary journey. Uh, before we do that, kindly hit the subscribe button and the notify button for new contents that I upload weekly. Thank you. So come Sashua from the French word faire come Sashua, which means uh, make yourself at home. I think, you know, that's what it means because I don't know French. Uh, it's really a place that started off to be a really small restaurant, comfy little restaurant way back in 1926 uh, by a family that has, you know, for generations passed down to the younger generation. As you can see from the pictures here on their website, it's really meaningful. And today the restaurant is manned by a husband and wife, a lot Lauren and Lionel. Uh, Chef Lionel, uh, you know, with his team, runs the kitchen, while wife Lauren actually works in the dining room talking to the guests. And she actually talked to us when I was there and she was really nice. Uh, so of course when I make the reservation, I didn't know there were two separate seating, so lucky enough they actually put us in the kitchen all the way to the back because you know I actually like that because you can actually still see uh, the kitchen staff in action but furthest away from them where I can actually have a private conversation as well uh, so I just want to you know show you around uh, this is the kitchen is an open kitchen obviously because uh, they do sit gas on one side to you know be able uh, for them to actually view uh, the kitchen staff in action preparing the meals so it's pretty open white kitchen after to say um, and then when you walk out and this is where I want to take you to because the dining room is actually really beautiful uh, it's kind of old style you know classic beautiful kind of antique like uh, but I didn't sit here but I just came in here to actually take a picture as you can see it's kind of like a train car in a way like one of those old you know uh, continental Europe train car kind of design but it's really beautiful uh, but I didn't sit here, but I think I was happier sitting in the back uh, because I got to see um, the kitchen staff in action. Honestly, the wine menu is like a book. I mean, seriously, that they carry so many different kinds of wine here. Um, and the actually food menu, it's pretty uh, straightforward. There are three kinds of uh, menu. There's the five course, six course, and seven courses. Uh, I actually went with the five courses. The table snacks is this crispy little thing. I forgot what it's called. It's really tasty and crunchy. The way to dispense the olive oil is what I love. Drip, drip, drip. And of course, they actually serve some ambush bush before we start the meal, and they were tasty. So this is ceviche with vegetables, it's just to whet our appetite and the white part is actually a vodka emulsion I believe. The first course is a crispy bag of our rabbit, a meat, yeah, a Bucks Bunny, uh, with rosemary stuffing. Uh, emulsion of a uh, mustard from Ghent. So apparently Ghent is famous for its mustard uh, with Cabernet uh, vinegar as well as slightly smoked eggplant caviar. It's really tasty. Honestly, you know, it's like eating chicken. The next course is too beautiful to eat if you ask me. It's a wild tuna tataki uh, with sesame seeds uh, filled with multicolored uh, little flowers from the garden that's edible. 
I think they call it Melly Mellow, uh, as well as a tzatziki uh, uh, that's mixed with coriander. It's really tasty. I love it. The third course is pan fried filet with red mullet, uh, it's with the uh, bulla bay sauce, uh, with sea urchin. Although I think the sea urchin is too tiny for me to taste any sea urchin in it. I mean, it was tasty, but I couldn't taste any sea urchin. Uh, there's also fennel with green anise in it, which I could taste. So the fourth course is a grilled sea bass uh, with tiny chunks of razor clam, uh, almost unnoticeable, uh, with trio of young carrots as well as sweet spices and some really uh, small pieces of baby bok choy with lime zest. It's really good. It's a good dish. Dessert time. So we had a really good peach mousse with verbena and calcutta tea. Uh, it's really tasty. Um, not too sweet actually, which is my liking. And of course, given that this is in Belgium, we had you know creamy chocolate of all kinds, um, obviously made in Belgium. Uh, it was not disappointing. And lastly, we had a bunch of delicacies. This marshmallows of different flavors was really good and it was a perfect way to end our meal here at Kam Sashua. So overall, I think the meal at Kam Sashua was really good. Uh, of course, I think execution-wise, some of the dishes, you know, were not, I wouldn't score them, you know, 5 out of 5 or 10 out of 10, uh, but they were still really good. And perhaps that's the reason why, you know, it's short of one Michelin star out of the, the, the maximum of three awarded. Uh, but it, it's still really good. Uh, the service was uh, great, exceptional, I would say. Overall, if you're in fine dining and you're in Brussels, uh, come check out Kam Sashua. I don't think you'll be disappointed.